welcome back. Um, now, the actual last episode I recorded, I actually made all this crap right here. That being the mob grinder, the bat box, the generator that feeds it when if, if I'm stuck down here after dark, and the low voltage solar array that I made out of the solar panel we made. Unfortunately, when I went to try to edit it, I discovered I don't know what happened. I had my mic in the wrong place or something. My voice was almost not there, and unfortunately there was no way I could save that footage, really. I will splice a few bits of it in here, if you would like to see some of it. But, uh, sadly, the process is gone. Mostly. But anyway, uh, you notice things are a little bit prettier than they used to be. That is because I finally got off my butt, went to the Sortex Fanver website, got the hold of the patcher, and patched up New World as best I could. It actually had a fair number of the mods in the patcher. Not all of them, but most of them. So everything is pretty here. Anyway, here in my mob grinder, my zombie death room, Zombies are being carried by flowing water. I left my little window here. Ooh, that one's going to drop some good stuff. They're being carried by that flowing water into a little trough, where more flowing water directs them straight into the whirling jaws of death right here. And when it gets done idling, it's going to butcher another zombie. This power setup actually works friggin' great. And in fact, I'm probably going to make an auto disenchanter and park it right there. But uh, I'm kind of farming the drops. I mostly have been getting zombie. Whoa, hello. Okay, I got a little something other than zombie meat here. Good. I'll just throw that away. Sweet. So I've got some armor that I can suck the enchantments off of. Um, as I was saying. The auto disenchanter will take the enchantments off of all these goodies here and put them onto books so I can put them onto my own stuff. But that's actually the secondary spoils of the mob grinder. Now what I'm mainly after is this stuff right here. This is essence. This is basically liquid XP. And I'm going to need this when I get my blaze auto spawner set up. This is what it's going to make blazes out of. So, oh god! Aqua affinity. Fire, hey! You know, I, I have no helmet right now. I'm going to steal one of these and just... There we go. Park that on my head. Sweet. Okay. So, let's see. Well, since we lost a whole bunch of work, um, I can at least show you the recipe for the... Uh, Let's see. Um, num num num. Grinder. There we go. There we go. It's just plastic sheets, which is raw plastic, which is rubber that's been smelted. Um, a book, a golden sword, a piston. And you'll be pleased to learn I did finally figure out a little mnemonic trick to remind me how to make a piston the right way and factory machine blocks, which are just plastic sheets and stone. And, of course, that's what you get plastic from. Okay, well, let's head on back up to the house for now. Oh, this helmet makes its own light. That's lovely. That is just lovely. I also, last, um, in the last episode, <laughs> finally, there's the solar panel right there, the, or the solar array. Is it is it seeing light? Is my helmet actually lighting it up? Wow, that's crazy. Uh, I finally had to fence off my... Um, oh shit, I'm still missing a crop there. Had to fence off my garden here because a slime kept bouncing around in it and destroying my crops, destroyed that nether wart that I cheated in fair and square. Oh, I'm just going to burn some rubber wood up here. You only get three planks from a piece of rubber wood? Alright. I never noticed that. Oh, hi. Thank you, Meteor Shield. Ok. 
Okay. Now what's cool about that mob grinder is, as long as I'm around and working on the farm or whatever out here, it's going to be making zombies. So it's going to be killing zombies. So it's going to be generating both zombie drops and mob essence. Okay. Where is my hoe? There is my hoe. Let's just see. I'm going to need some more crop sticks. Let's go ahead and throw some sugar cane on these right now so they don't get eaten up by weeds. I hate you slimes. I really do. Actually, this was not the slimes doing. This was a rogue cow that was running around out in the field. You're not going to give me a sugar cane, you cheap bastard. Now that was a, that was a cow that trampled this, and I'm going to have to fence that off too, which kind of sucks. But um, I need to get some melon seeds. I need to find a mine shaft. I don't think I've found a mine shaft on this world yet. But then again, I haven't been looking all that hard. So, I will show you something else cool that I made down in the mine here shortly. But first, me and my glowy head are going to head up here, and we'll do a little tour of the house real quick. There is a creeper. I see you. Okay. I have added some more f stuff to the kitchen. I added a grindstone, coarse grindstone, to grind up flour, which will make more bread. Unfortunately, that's rubber, that's not bread. Uh, flour does not bake in the cooker, sadly. But that's okay. Because I went ahead and kept some... I'm not going to put that there. I went ahead and kept a couple of furnaces over here. And I've got to do something with all these. I put some little kitchen shelves up here. There's a spider in my window. Uh, let's see, I haven't put my brewing stuff in yet. I've got some stairs there for whenever I get ready to do the roof. I put this little tachi sword in a tool case. And this helmet was about to die and I couldn't bear to see it go, so I made an armor stand, parked it on there. Um, that was before I knew that the uh, washing machine in the Jamie Furniture mod will repair armor. Apparently you give it coal and you put a piece of armor in it and it will fix it. So, I am going to have to build me one of those. But, um, let's see. What else have I done? Oh yeah, that's right. I prettied up this library. And I'm going to zombie proof this door real quick like. Yeah, I'm just now learning this trick where if you hang a door like so, zombies will leave it alone. Fascinating. Big blue slime right over there. I just, I love, th the glass in Sortex is just so much better. It actually looks like glass. Anyway, that is most of the house. Oh yeah, the bathroom. I put up this, um, I, try I cheated in one of those Jammies bathtubs. I did not like the way it looked in here, so I just made my own bathtub out of birch and put my one of my little cheapy tripwire in a frame and tripwire on the block faucet thingies on there. Uh, I added a bathroom cabinet. The only problem that I have with the bathroom cabinet, or with the uh, cupboards in general in Jammies, you can't put stuff on top of them. Now, I did put that brewing stand on top of that one in there, but remember, I'd place the brewing stand first, I knocked the planks out from under it, then I put the cupboard under it. I tried putting a flower pot on this, it wouldn't go. I Even if I shift right clicked on it, even if I shift right clicked on the wall, it just refused to go. So unfortunately, that did not work out. So I still have not done a damn thing with this room other than put some blinds in it. 
That's cute. Okay, so let's head down to the mine. Hello. I see you. I'm going to get you. Ouch. Did I get him? I got him. Let's us head down to the mine. Because I also finally broke down and made something else I've been needing to do. Because I got tired of digging up copper and tin and throwing it in the smeltery and nothing happened. And, oh, oops, it's the wrong copper. It's the wrong tin. I made a thing. This is the forged lexicon. Actually, I didn't so much make this. I will admit this. I cheated this thing in. And given what it does, I think it's kind of justified. So if you shift right click, the forged lexicon, this is copper, this is metallurgy copper, will turn copper from one mod into copper from another mod. Thus ensuring compatibility between your metals. Let's see, I will go ahead and just flop this copper in here. Oh, cool. I swear that sword was not skinned before. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else do I need to show off? I think that's about it. Oh, I did find... Let's see, do I still have it on my person? No. I did dig up... Oh, there it is, the calendrite. I dug up some fancy nether stuff. Uh, some of the stuff we couldn't get before. Don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Let's see, how are my ore berries looking? Let's pick us some berries. Okay, so, whoops, did not mean to do that. There we go. Alrighty. I think right now I'm going to start on an auto disenchanter. Okay, I need a diamond for that. Two nether bricks, two books. I've already got a factory machine block. I've already got plastic sheets out the bazoo. And I've got... Where are they? Two books right yard. I'm pretty sure I still got some diamonds down in the mine. And I will need to make mo books. Lovely. Diamonds? I have diamonds. Okay. What else? Okay, I think I can uh, actually head up back to the house and make this now. Wonderful. Yeah, I cannot believe how well that little solar array works. Oh my god. I was expecting it to have just enough power to run the grinder. Oh no. Oh no no no. And with the generator on the, also on that bat box, it is making plenty of power. Now once I get the spawner on there, I may need to possibly upgrade it to another to a um, different array or maybe just add another one or whatever. We'll figure it out. There we go. I know I still have some machine blocks. Uh, yeah, there we go. A factory machine block. All right. Let's make us an enchantment sucker. Diamond. Plastic sheets. A factory machine block. A book and a book. Oh, what the hell. Oh, the nether bricks. Duh. <sighs> I don't have any of those up here, do I? Oh, I got some netherrack. Perfect. Let's just bake that up. Let's see. Is there anything else pretty that I can put up here while we're waiting for that? I don't think so. Mm, oh, oh well, that's cactus. Lender pearls. I still need a gas tier so I can make that stinking spawner. But, uh, let's see, do 
Do I have some sugar canes down here? I do not. I have a sugar cane on my person. Oh, I will, uh, I got some leather in here, right? Yeah, I got some leather. Alright, that's one. That row. Throw that away. Almost done. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if I can get that painting to uh, do something else. Oh, you know what? I can throw this away. Don't need that. I thought I was going to sneeze for a second. Uh, no. No. Ah, there we go. And I got too much, but that's okay. Put that other one away. Alright, here we go. Ah, another brick, another brick. Diamond. Machine block. Book, book. Plastic, plastic, plastic. Okay. Awesome. Grab some sugar cane while I go down there. I know at least in Magic Farm, this thing sucks a hell of a lot of power. Chickens, how did you get out of there? Uh, I swear if it's not the vegetables, it's the animals. Ugh, uh, really? Jeez. Give me that back. Okay. Let's just... Okay. Okay. That should be enough for me to get started here. I may be having some chicken for dinner. Alright, there we go. Come down here, let's make up a book. Or a few books. Ah, the sweet sound of zombies dying. Okay. Let's see. Do I have any more wire? I do. This is not the prettiest power setup, but you know what? I don't care. It works. Alright, good. You got power. Let's see. Let's feed it some books. And let's feed it. What do I want to feed it? Fire protection 2. Oh, there we go. Oh. Mama like. Let's feed it some pants. Alright, yeah, you notice it is sucking energy real quick. But the bat box seems to be keeping up pretty well. So far. Okay, the grinder's full. Fortunately, the grinder does not require that much power. Yeah, do I have any coal on me? I do not. <laughs> Nothing else that I can put in the generator. Okay. No big. It's running. It's actually running pretty fast. <laughs> wow. How's the bat box holding up? It's not. Is it nighttime? I think it's nighttime. No, it's not nighttime. Okay. Welp. Let me just chop something down and throw it in there. There we go. Okay. 
I should probably build a little bit safer way to get down here. Oh, shit. There's coal right there. Come on, Sarah. There we go. What is that? Oh, that's magnesium. There we go. I'll just flop some coal in there. So it'll fill up the bat box. Is it done already? Holy shit! All right. Well, I can hang on to those. Go ahead and stick that on there. Sweet. And I can throw one, you know, repair him a little bit. I throw him in the washing machine. Repair him, and then melt him down for gold. How about that? Isn't that nice? And my essence tank is filling up. I will probably have to build an iron tank eventually, but I'll figure that out when I come to it. And there we go. Our mob murder station. And enchantment sucker. How about that? Alright, well next time, I think we might go back to the nether and work on possibly A, getting a gas tier, and B, maybe catching some uh, blazes. So, we'll see what happens. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.